she can speak in a calm voice and write nice novels, but she is an extremist and she is a barrier to peace. You are an extremist. You are a zealot. Acknowledge what they've done is horrible, 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 but because she's written a screen 
My Palestinian characters are supporters of the two-state solution. My Palestinian characters are the ones who want to bring about peace. Even the terrorists, whom, in whose mouth I put the case against Israel's right to exist, makes that case articulately. Two cases, actually. I have two characters. One, a Marxist uh, from the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, who makes the kind of anti-colonial claims against Israel. And the other, an Islamic uh, extremist, who believes uh, uh, that uh, perspective. I try very hard to present uh, characters. What uh, she presents and what she's presenting here today are stick figure, totally fake uh, presentations of Israelis. For her, it's a one-sided conflict. For her, there is no trick on the side of Israel. For her, there was no Holocaust. Why don't you tell us what you feel? Forget about what her. You don't want to listen. We actually have read your novel. I don't think you've read mine. And in fact, I think that your depiction of Arabs uh, is quite cartoonish. Uh, and, uh, and, and I was really quite shocked by how little understanding uh, you have of not just Palestinian society, but uh, of, the, of, of the situation on the ground and the realities on the ground. The fact that, for example, a van cannot drive from Jerusalem to Jericho unimpeded. It's, you know, I mean, there are so many, um, so many holes and, and that really betray your lack of knowledge of, of what's happening on the ground. Of course the band can drive. Of course the band can drive from Jerusalem to Jericho. And I found it I've very done it. cynical. Yeah, I've done it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is... Right, like, so these are not bigots. These are not, uh, these yes, are they not are. crazy people. No, these, these in fact Anybody are who calls for a boycott or divestment against and Israel and doesn't say a word about so dog war or Rwanda is a bigot. And when you say something, Calls for me. Um, this is uh, I find that unseemly and really unbecoming of a Harvard professor, frankly. <laughs>